I, I was reminded by your by your by your uh, passion in photography. Yes. I was browsing the internet and I said, okay, J. Aldegwer, the photographer, something like that. The photographer. Uh, you got the passion in that. Why not venture into that bis business? Uh, well, uh, photography started in the late 90s. Again, I guess it goes back to my being a sentimental person, which is part of being uh, <laughs> in the souvenir industry, no? Um, because I really value experiences. And you moments. Know? And moments, yes, correct. Uh, I'm glad you, you pointed that out. Yeah, so, because it was there. Yeah, the and, and that's where I think the souvenirs uh, uh, idea came up also, and which is pretty consistent with, with photography, especially the kind of photography that they enjoy doing is uh, pretty photojournalistic, capturing moments, no? uh, not studio shots and, and stuff like that. So it will remain a hobby. Uh, it will remain a hobby. Um, yes, I'll keep it that way. Very, very good. How many employees do you have now? Right now, uh, all over, um, almost 500 employees. Wow. Yeah. But okay. that includes the other business the, that, that I'm into also, which is still in travel. Right. Yes. Let me ask you about franchising. Is yes. it part of the... Uh, yes, sector? yes, yes. Um, we, um, especially now that the tourism industry is one of the, uh, the focuses of, of the Philippines and, and it's a sunrise industry, um, there have been a lot of interest in tourism. Wait uh, a minute, if, it's, if it is a, a sunrise industry, that means that we are yet to really explore. Oh, definitely. I think we're, we're very uh, under underdeveloped. And, and w just recently in the, uh, in the ranking of Travel and Leisure magazine in Asia, next to Bali and the Maldives, Cebu was number three. So I I don't I Cebu, think not the if, if we get if we get Cebu is the Philippines also I mean <laughs> <laughs> and vice versa Philippines is Cebu <laughs> yeah um, who whichever place makes it to the the ranking should be um, should be lauded yeah I I, I it, it reminded me of an interesting idea if you are to launch a product launch it in Cebu if it doesn't fly, fly in Cebu and then it's not a good product really it will not be yes it's been said especially for consumer products <laughs> oh, but, yeah. but i don't think that applies nowadays yeah. oh yeah oh, yeah very very good there's still a sunrise there are so many opportunities. oh definitely i think i think uh more than any other place in the in the region especially the asian region the philippines has more than right. what it takes to be to take the lead before i ask you for the make the picture talk and before i i, I let you go for the first segment i would like to to ask though why expand well you know I've always said to myself, whenever I take the first step in anything, I try to see how far I can go. Okay. And it's that vision or that destination um, that, that, how do you say, inspires me to even do better. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, a, it's almost a natural evolution to me, really, more than anything. And the wife has a say in everything? Uh, you can say that. Okay. She watching? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, she can watch it in the web. Let's make the picture talk, sir. I'm going to flash a photo on the screen and then make some monologue out of it. You asking me? Yeah, you can make. Well, all I can say is that it's making me hungry. But if it's going to make me look like Doctor Spock, then I'd rather pass on whatever they're eating. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for that. Uh, I'm going to see you again uh, after Mr. John Lukawa our next guest. Okay. Up next, your tweets and your thoughts and monologue for make the picture talk and. The guy behind your favorite bakery inside the mall. Reimagine the day of creation. Let there be bread. Stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Your monologues and tweets and thoughts on Make the Picture Talk. Okay, let's show this one. We have to eat more. This food isn't available in the spaceship. That's from Trina of Marikina City. And oh, we have another one. After 100 years, we finally get to eat real food. Marie of Cagayan de Oro. And the third comment from Twitter. Now this is real food. Eating makes my ears more sensitive to sound. 
Michael of Bacolod City. Now, okay, friends, uh, let me get this right. Let me get this right. He's from Binondo, Manila. He would sell toys to his classmates at Xavier. He would sell dried mangoes to stores. And he would manage a very, very small bakery. I don't know what uh, came to mind. But eventually, the man of his own brand. A multi-award entrepreneur and an educator by heart. A very good friend of mine. Very, very short notice. He had to set his appointment to another time just to be here, ladies and gentlemen. John Lokowa. Sir, good morning and welcome to the show. We really appreciate your time. Uh, I, I hope uh, longer notice, but uh, thank you for, for being here. That's why I was able to pass by the bakery to get some stuff. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so direct, maybe next time we should move the time slot. <laughs> so, you know, maraming pinapay tayo dito. But it, 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 can, follow, it can follow. Actually, I brought you some of checks. Oh! So. Give, <laughs> can you show it the screen? Give check! This is worth, what, 20,000 pesos? No, no, it's thick, but... Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the give check from... This is a surprise! Yeah. Direct. But remind me, I have to sign it. 